Now, as the lockdown eases, social distancing rules designed to keep everyone safe are having a significant impact on millions of lives. But for many deaf and blind people, the new distance rules and wearing of face masks have made the, made the world uh, almost impossible to navigate. As our disability news correspondent Nikki Fox reports now, many campaigners say deaf and disabled people have, in effect, been forgotten during the pandemic. I think I would describe it as feeling pretty helpless. I'm just cut off, disconnected. If I feel somebody bump into me on the times that I leave the house, I get really stressed, I get really scared too. For both these women, life as we ease out of lockdown has become much harder. Measures designed to keep us safe are having a negative impact on the lives of people with hearing and sight loss. For Aisha, it's a routine appointment she's dreading. I'm quite nervous. Nurses, doctors, you know, they'll all be wearing masks and I'll be able to understand what they say. Along with sign language, Aisha relies on lip reading and facial expressions to fully understand what's going on. But now the interpreter will also be wearing a mask. I don't know what's happening and what they're saying. It's, it takes quite a lot of your power away and your self-esteem, I think knowing that you can't communicate with anybody. Part of the nature of my eye condition is that I don't have any depth perception. And it's also difficult for me because I don't have any peripheral vision. So I'm really relying on other people being good at following the rules because I can't. With a husband who is shielding, it's down to Holly to do the basics like shopping. But safety measures designed to keep us safe have made her world almost impossible to navigate. There's nothing about being visually impaired that makes me more vulnerable medically to COVID, but the situation has made me more vulnerable. Charities supporting people with sensory loss have seen a dramatic increase in calls to their helplines as we ease out of lockdown. They're struggling with you know, the face masks when using public transport and getting out and about. They kind of feel forgotten about. Um, they're not understood by the public and the government. And we feel these people have been really disadvantaged with the easing of the lockdown. Do you think disability has been thought of? We are constantly learning and um, receiving advice. In face coverings, visors are being used across transport networks. We're investigating tactile signage as well. Importantly, equality and discri discrimination law has not changed in um, the pandemic. You know, people have to be treated appropriately uh, and equally. Following pressure, the Department of Health and Social Care has said it's looking into the possibility of securing transparent face coverings, which would help Aisha. But three months into the pandemic, and with many reasonable adjustments yet to be made, Many deaf and blind people fear they'll be the last to get out of lockdown. Nikki Fox, BBC News.